Excuse me. Excuse me? Uh, now, when the little red light goes on that camera, you look in the lens and talk to it. That way, you're looking in the viewer's eye, and they think that you're honest. Buddy, I don't know really what's wrong. I don't feel too well. You know, we can't have a little guest of honor poofing out on us now, can we, huh? We have no show. Yeah, well, three of my kids had flu all week, but I think I'll be all right. Atta girl. What a trooper. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Uh, Jim, Hank, uh, help her out of here. Oh. I'm sorry. Forgive me. What are we going to do? We've been promoting the show all week. Oh. Some people have it in their We've only got one minute. Listen, what about... Good, good. Get her in here, okay? Okay. Listen, we're going to fake it. Fake it? Right. No, no one will ever notice as long as you play along. So no matter what happens, just fake it, okay? I'm sorry, buddy. Forget it. Go throw up or something, okay? Stand by. What about Norton? He's been asleep. Oh. Never mind, forget it. Hmm. Oh, no. on the air here. Well, hmm. yeah. This is Channel One, Tittle Tattle. Your moderator, Buddy Deed. Good afternoon, or evening. Our subject today, socioeconomic realignment in the common market. Our guest today in the Channel One studios for authorities. First, the Right Honorable Terence Midlothian, Chairman of the Liquefied Petroleum Gas Institute, author and honorary member of the Order of St. Ursula. Professor Frederick Norton, Doctor of the Latent Currency, the Bureau of the Deficit Budget, Washington, D.C. Ms. Frida Forrest Hill, and Dr. Dean Emeritus, Ph.D. and retired Colonel in Her Majesty's Corps of Certified Public Accountants, Manitoba. First gentleman to the basics, why socioeconomic realignment in the common market? Yes, Terrence. Well, it is a question that's being bandied about nowadays, buddy, but better we should ask, why negative equalization of balance of payments? I mean, really. Here, here. But oh. that is, as you say, the question. Is there an answer, a solution, if you will? Well, I don't wish to equivocate, buddy, but the actual transitory, non-exchangeable, devalued securities have made a joke of your question. Oh, forgive me, I'm sorry. Perfectly understandable. I have here some recent statistics which suggest that capital gains may or may not have real or imagined influence negatively or positively upon these securities. I, uh, I hope you have proof to back up that inflammatory remark. Well, of course I do. I managed to secure some briefs, which I'm sure you'll find of great interest. Well, excuse me, may I ask who does your typing? Oh, I have a 12-year-old <coughs> neighbor boy who comes in. I thought so. I have to do all my typing myself. I used to have to... T it was terrible. I used to have just a heck of a time with my Q's and my Z's. Yeah, and you get that purple stuff uh, all over your head. Uh, well, when I think hard, I lick my fingers. Let, uh, let's turn this conversation around, okay? Doesn't anyone care? This woman's uh, anesthesia! Well, uh, uh, I'm sure she'll be okay. Uh, <sighs> She's stiff as a board. I can't understand uh, it. Uh, Professor Wait, Norton, uh, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> you fool! <laughs>